In this Getting Started video, I want to show you your experience of, of joining a link online meeting from your web browser. So I've got the meeting URL there, and that may have been delivered via an email that you have been sent, um, a link online meeting invite, and something that might be launched from your Outlook calendar. I've just pasted that into the web browser, but you could just click it and launch it. So we're presented with a screen giving us the opportunity to enter a guest name and the options down here um, it's best to choose this option to install the Link Web App plugin and that allows you to um, play your video and your audio through the browser as well. So if you've got an um, inbuilt microphone or if you've got a headset with a microphone then it will make use of that you'll be able to hear the audio from the meeting. And this is particularly important with Link Online meetings because Link Online, in most cases, doesn't have a um, a, uh, a phone number that you can call into and get the meeting audio that way. So we're just going to join the meeting, and this is the plugin that it's requesting to be installed. So we'll click Run. Note that's 7.28 megabytes, and that's a uh, another reason to perhaps go through this process early before the meeting so that you're all ready and you have that installed and you can get to your meeting on time this won't take too long purposely not pausing the video because I want to show you how long it will take to get in. Always allow this plugin allow and we're beginning to see that meeting. and there's the content. So the meeting content, um, I'm just on another computer presenting a PowerPoint that's been shared. So the content of the meeting is here and the gallery view of who's attending that meeting is um, along the top here too. So and that arrow just indicates that that's me. Now um, I'm able to change this view but uh, first of all I'm going to show you some of these buttons along the bottom here. One button that um, makes sense to, to put on um, initially is the, the messaging button. Now you'll perhaps be using this to message other participants of the meeting and maybe ask your questions of the meeting organizer and the presenter and so you can quickly enter in your, your questions in there. Um, if you have video, uh, you might want to add that um, just over in this part here. I, I won't hover over and. Okay, let's just see. Okay, so it'll just start up the video. And you can start the video, and, and um, that video content will replace the, the icon that you see, which is your guest icon. And you can turn on the participants. So all of, the, all of these. Um, abilities to be able to look in and see the, um, the, the turn off the various functions of, of the um, link meeting. Um, you can turn them on and dock them. I like to dock the uh, participants in the message window so that I can um, see who's part of the meeting and also just be part of the, the general banter of a meeting. But going back to the uh, the layouts, so there are a few layouts that you can choose from. You can choose the layout that, that brings the focus to the presentation rather than the meeting um, presenter. And so that will um, give you that view. Um, and within the browser experience too, I'm just looking for that button that this will full window that will present the meeting 
within and make the focus on the um, meeting content again. I quite like that black view because it's a bit easier on the eyes. And we can see the um, other portions of the um, uh, controls for the, the meeting are, are auto hiding. So there's a nice focus on that meeting there. And we can turn that chat window back on, participant windows back on, and have everything else auto hide. So you know this this meeting content will be um, larger for you probably because of the size of your screen, and and I've also sized this browser so that I can put it inside the recording that I'm making. The other areas that I can have some control over. Just looking at some of those options, I can see the meeting information, who organised it, and there's the link to the meeting. Go back in here. I can get some help. Let's close it off. And my meeting options. So if I want to continue to join meetings for link from this computer, from this browser, I can click and remember. Um, there aren't any options for phones because this is a link online meeting. Um, if this was link on premises, there'd be some phone options there. This probably is the um, other area that you might need to use to to make sure that your audio is set up correctly. Maybe you've plugged your headset in but it's not been detected. Maybe you need to manually click it in and, and um, choose your audio devices. And I can see there the built-in PC mic and speakers. And video devices, but we won't spend too much time there. Okay, so and one other thing um, within this meeting, perhaps I should have showed that earlier, is um, when you do start the meeting that you... Um, Often by default the meeting participants will be muted um, unless you've um, the meeting presenters configured it so that people will come in and have their mics unmuted when they join the meeting. If you're joining a, a meeting as a guest, it is good practice to have that microphone muted. And then if you want to ask questions, so rather than typing frantically to try and get that question out, you can uh, bring yourself off mute, unmute and then ask that question, listen to the response, and then afterwards just uh, mute yourself again. And that gives a, a better meeting experience so that we're not hearing um, various background noises from each of the participants. And if you can imagine, if there's um, up to 200 participants in a, a Link Online meeting, um, then it can get quite noisy. And um, there have been some interesting stories to tell of, um, of people that have joined via the phone on a Link On-Premise meeting. and and all sorts of noises that happen in the background, so it's good to make use of that that mute button. Um, from this button here, we can also, um, if we are presenting, we can we can go through and and change the various things that we um, uh, the content that we can see. So there might be polls, or um, we're looking at a PowerPoint. Um, and if I've been given permission, I can take over as presenter. Although at this stage, I'm just the guest. So um, that's the online meeting experience from within a browser and if you've got Link Online, um, Link uh, software installed then that's uh, another experience again and you can view that in another video. Uh, thanks for watching.